Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to, um, when given uh, two direct variations where y varies directly with x, uh, identify our missing value, which in this case is x. Now, notice that we kind of have two direct variations. Here, when y is equal to a value and x is equal to a value. And here, where we know the value of y, but we don't know the value of x. So to do this, we have our two um, equations for direct variation. And what we simply want to do is set those two equations equal to each other. And we're going to use this one because it doesn't have our k constant. Um, which we don't know. I mean, we could figure out. But we just know that they're constant. Since they both vary, uh, y varies directly with x, we can set them equal to each other. Now, all I'm simply going to do is plug in the values that I have. So y equals a negative 5 eighths over x, which is 3 halves, is equal to y, which is 2 fifths, over x. Now, I know there's a lot of fractions going on, but don't be deterred. Just remember, when we're applying the cross product, we can sim or we're solving a a proportion, we can just apply the cross product. So here I have 3 halves times 2 fifths is equal to a negative 5 eighths times x. Now, when we're multiplying across, you could simply just multiply 3 times 2, which is 6, and 2 times 5, which is 10. So you could get 6 tenths, just multiply across. But then you have to simplify this. So it's always, always helpful to try to simplify before. And we notice that 2 divides into 2. So basically, I just have this as 3 fifths, which 3, 3 tenths reduced is 3 fifths anyways. That's equal to a negative 5 eighths times, how do you multiply across? Again, change that to a whole number. Or actually, we don't really need to. Just leave it like that. Now, what we have is we have x times negative 5 eighths equals 3 fifths. So to undo multiplying by negative 5 eighths to solve for x, because that's what we want to do is find our determinant, we need to divide um, by negative 5 eighths. But we really don't want to divide fractions. And so the way that we work on, instead of dividing fractions, is multiply by the reciprocal, which is going to produce the same operation. But it's important for us to understand that any number multiplied by its reciprocal is going to produce 1. For instance, 3 times 5 times 5 over 3 is equal to 15 over 15. So by multiplying by the reciprocal, we're still going to get a coefficient of 1, just like we would if we undid multiplication by division. But the reason why multiplying by reciprocal is so nice, because multiplying fractions is very simple. You just multiply straight across. Negative 8 times 3 is negative 24 over 5 times 5, which is 25, which is equal to x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you use a proportion to determine your missing value for direct variation. Thanks.